Hey guys, welcome back to Yen Eye Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I thought that we could just have a little bit of a play around with some makeup that I've recently picked up. It's either new or it's new to me and I thought I'd let you know how we go. Also, if you happen to see this shirt in my next video, it's because I'm doing a couple of videos today and I don't have any backups. Um, I've got some exciting things coming up, so look, I mean, stay tuned for all of that and um, it's gonna be fun. Very soon you're going to see that my video has changed because I'm doing a few upgrades here and there um, and my content hopefully is just going to get better and better. I'm very very excited guys and I hope you come along and join the ride with me. Um, but yeah, today is just about playing with makeup so um, like I always tell you guys you know I am not an expert, I'm not a beauty guru but I know the way products are supposed to work and I know what I want them to do for me and I hope that anything that I can tell you about the products that I'm going to use today will help you and make the right decisions for you, whether it's for your face, skin type, um, financial situation, whatever the case may be. So if you're interested in seeing um, this video today, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. Like I said, some of the products, not all of the products are going to be um, either new or new to me and some of them are just going to be my favourites. I may even um, explain to you what I would have normally used instead of this and, you know, um, see if I can get a feel for it, see if I like it and I'll let you know what I think. So anyway, I have already put um, moisturiser on and my next step would usually be... Uh, Primer. Now, for those who don't know, I have <laughs> dry, eczema-prone, sensitive skin, um, and oh, today my little friend has come to join me, so this doesn't happen very often, so that'll be interesting because I do have, it's not a new concealer, but it's a new shade that I want to try out, so... Mm. Alright, look, normally I would normally use this Too Faced Hangover um, Primer and to be honest with you, I am loving this. I'm going to be mortified when this runs out because I really don't like, I don't like the price, um, to be honest with you. And um, I thought I'd go down to um, Priceline, which is the equivalent of the drugstore here in Australia, and I would finally try and pick up this NYX Angel Veil that everybody just bangs on about. It's one of those ones that you see all over YouTube. I can never get a hold of it, so I live in a small country town, and um, well, it's not really that small, but it is a country town, and this is always, always sold out, and it's not cheap either, I mean, mm, I think it's $25, that's not cheap for me, cheap for me is like $10.15, you know, um, especially for something, you know, that's going to go under everything else, but I digress, um, <laughs> so... Anyway, they had a sale on, this was there and it actually wasn't sold out so I went yoink and I picked this bad boy up and that's what we're going to use today. Um, I do love this one, like I said, I love this one. I used to use the Maybelline, um, mm, it was a Maybelline primer in a blue tube, I don't remember what it was called, Master something, and it was like, yeah, it did when I didn't know any better, but then when I got this Too Faced one, I'm like, Pfft. Yeah, nah. So, um, yeah, let's give this guy a go and see how she goes. Alright. Okay, so obviously you can see that it's white. And, um, hmm, let's see. I can, it's, it's got a, um, natural scent. So just like a, a, a chemical scent. Nothing really too obnoxious. So that works for me. And anybody else who might have, um, dry skin or sensitive skin, sorry. And, um, it's um, it's a definitely an interesting formula. It feels weird, like silicony, but like silicon and talcum powder together. Like that's kind of hmm, bit weird. I might actually might use just a touch more. I know sometimes they say that less is more, but I just didn't feel like that it really got everywhere. Um, so obviously it's not a hydrating moisture. I would think that this would be more like a poor feeling one by the feel of it but um I don't hate the way that it's feeling but I don't think that I would be able to use this on one of those days where I'm having a lot of problems with dry patchiness with my skin so let's see how it performs when the foundation is over the top so that's that we'll just chuck that out of the way next thing I'm going to go on to is we're going to go in with foundation and today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible pro glow in 
classic ivory so I do believe that they are discontinuing this in Australia so if you like this get in there now and pick yourself up some I absolutely love this um when I first got it I was just like meh um <laughs> because I had another one that I really enjoyed and I was using at the time but I just felt this one actually looked better on my skin um yeah so anyway it is a runnier formula and um, I am going to use my Ella sponge. I love this thing. That's the other thing. I used to use an Eco Tool sponge, and although I love that, it's affordable. It's ten dollars. You can go pick yourself up one from anywhere, like Woolworths, um, Priceline, pretty much anywhere, right? Fantastic. But if you want something just a little bit special, have a look at these Ella sponges. They come in a two pack. They're online. Um, fantastic. Game changer for me. Don't know what a beauty blender, like an original, actually feels like because I've never brought one and I'm not going to pay $30 for one. But uh, huh. this, I think I paid... I think I paid $30 for two. I think? Or $20 for two. I don't know, but anyway, it was worth it and to me. So <laughs> let's do this. Just going to look in my mirror. Excuse me for a minute. This is not a full coverage. Um, I would say that um, it's sort of light to medium, but definitely buildable. I like the idea of looking porcelain, don't get me wrong, you know, covering up all of my freckles and all that sort of stuff. I don't know whether you guys feel the same way, anybody else who has freckles, but sometimes I just want to cover them up and I just want to be like flat, you know. Um, but I've started to realise I don't mind too much about my freckles being there, um, but I just want to really even out all of the um, pigmentation and, you know. And that's why I like this one. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin anyway. I usually get my ears because my ears go red and I hate that, so. Ah. And I normally like to bring it down a little bit, but I'm not really too, but I'm not actually going out anywhere today. This is just for a bit of fun, so. Alrighty then, that's what that looks like. All right, so normally I would go in with concealer after that, and I generally use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser kind of thing, and I'm, I'm using all this up, but what I also like is the um, Maybelline Fit Me range, and a while ago I had picked up the shade um, Fair Claire, which is the same colour in the Instant Age Rewind that I normally go, but um, this one I find pretty much matches my skin tone perfectly, which is great for sort of like concealing, I guess, um, but... I want it to brighten up my eyes, and this one, well despite the fact that they're the same name, this one's a little bit more yellow, and though I don't hate it and I will use it, I kind of want something that's going to sort of brighten up my under eyes, so they recently brought out a new shade, a lighter shade, which is um, 05 Ivory, and that's the one that I want to use today, and I'm sure this is going to look very, very white, but I just, I want to brighten it up just a little bit, because I am going to bronze, and... Um, how's that spot looking on my chin? I might just actually go in with my um, dark circle eraser and just sort of spot conceal that. It's looking alright, but it could look better. In there. Yeah, perfect. Just a little bit. Yeah, a lot happier with that. It's just so easy to use this. It's just so easy. Alright, so now we're going to go in with the lighter shade of the um, Maybelline Fit Me, which is Ivory. Alright, let's see how we go, guys. Okay. No scent. Why do I sniff everything? <laughs> Alright. Just stick a bit under here. Now let's blend this in. I've never 
been really one for um, wanting to do or feeling comfortable with doing my makeup on camera, funnily enough. So for me, even now, it's still quite awkward to sort of do my makeup on camera or really anything in general on camera. Now that sounds a bit weird, you know, here I am trying to do YouTube videos and stuff and I'm camera shy, but to be honest with you, it's hard because I like to connect with people face to face. So, um, I mean, I know you guys are there, but, hmm, I don't know. I like that I can still connect with you guys in the comments and things. This is nice, I like this, and yes, it definitely does brighten. I am very happy that I picked up that new shade. And plus, I mean, we're in winter in Australia, and I'm, I'm not a tanner anyway. I ain't going to get too much darker even in summer, but um, it's nice to have that. I really, really enjoy that. Um, the sponge is easier to use, in my personal opinion. You sponge it on, wipe, you're done, right? With, and I don't feel like I need to sort of dip back in all the time. And worst case scenario with the instant age rewind, I just go click, click, and put it on. I don't have to, you know, really dip into anything. So I do like that. Um, but for the time being, I like the shade of the um, Fit Me um, in the Ivory. Uh, I would probably say that if the Age Rewind came out with a lighter shade, like the Ivory, that I would probably go back to the Instant Age Rewind, but I do like this as well, so there's that. I always have lines under my eyes, I always have, I always will, and because I have dry skin, I really don't like putting on um, any sort of powder, but I have to. I do have two different ones from the same company, actually. I have the Maybelline. New York Master Fix Setting Loose Powder. Um, is that translucent? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, whatever. And I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. So, um, I don't really want to go in with a coloured one and sort of undo the brightening that I just did. So I might go in with this loose um, setting powder and just gently dab just a tiny, tiny fraction. So I'm just going to dip a little bit, tap as much off as I can, and just do, just do a little sort of sleep, sleep. Just do a little sweep under the eyes. Maybe I might put just a fraction over where I'm going to do my um, bronzer and all that just so I don't have any patchiness. I am using a new bronzer today. Um, powder. There we go, a little bit on my forehead. So I, I don't really like powdering because I find that it can crust me up. Uh, crust me up because it can make me look flaky and dry and mummy-like and uh, I just, no. Although I really like the look of a matte foundation, I just can't seem to pull it off very well and I don't want to be really, really dewy. Um, I don't like that wet look all the time just on a day-to-day -day basis but um i also don't want to be flaky and you know just no i don't want to look older than i actually am you know so anyway um, what are we going to do next that was setting powders um those both aren't new um well the fit me one sort of a little bit new to australia i know it's been out in america for quite some time now and although i actually really really do like that but um it is still a little bit dark for me, so I don't use that too often. And like I said, I'm better off using a um, a, a cream or a liquid um, moisture, a, a cream or a liquid foundation opposed to a powder one. So haven't quite figured out the powder ones for me yet. So next, I want to talk about bronzers. So bronzing? Do we want a bronze? Yeah, we want a bronze. I have three bronzers, and normally I swap between this um, Physician's Formula bronzer um, in bronzer, which is right here. Um, and when I don't use that, I normally prefer to use this one a little bit in summer, plus it needs another day or two with the lid open to get rid of that scent, because guys, if you're very sensitive to scent, this is just not going to be up your alley, but it is a fantastic fantastic bronzer I just can't stress enough it is worth 
um, going out and getting a um, getting one online if you can get a hold of it if you've got light fair skin. Um, I know there is another one that says that it's light, but to be honest with you, this bronzer one is probably better than the light one. The light one tends to pull a little bit warm on me, and so mm. I like to use this one in summer and in winter. I generally like to use this Body Shop. Um, it doesn't say that it's a honey bronzer, to be honest with you, but when I brought it, it, um, it was marketed as a honey bronzer, and I used shade 01, and I just find this is absolutely beautiful. This one is a matte, um, this one's matte, unlike the, um, the butter bronzer has a little bit of a sheen to it, not like, you know, crazy, but this one's definitely all matte, and I love to use that one, that's the one that I'm normally using right now, however... Maybelline just came out with this, um, oh, I've still got plastic all over it. Maybelline just came out with this City Bronzer, and I picked one up, and this is in um, the shade Light Cool. And I've done a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison swatch, and I'm actually a little bit nervous, because this one, I think, is just a little bit yellow-toned. But we are going to try that one today anyway, so let's give it a little bit of a whirl and I'll let you know exactly how I feel about that one. Maybe we might have to mix some, I don't know. I'm going to grab my Eco Tools brush, I don't know what it is, it's just an Eco Tools brush, whatever. It'll do the job, just give it a bit of a swirl, a little bit of kick up in the pan for this one, not something I'm really used to, and I'm just going to start on the top of the head. Now straight off the bat, I can definitely say that it is a touch yellow for my liking but I don't hate it I don't know let's just give it a little bit more now I don't generally crazily bronze now it's kind of like a brontour that I do, I don't really contour, um, and I don't like it to be too aggressive either, my hair's in the way. I think it's nice and subtle, that's something. I'm just trying to figure out if I like the tone, that's all. under the neck, try and sculpt that a bit, get rid of my sins because i got a little double chin happening here at the moment <laughs> yes, yeah, summer was good to me and it ain't going to change in winter either, so I don't mind that um, you can't really go ham to ham straight away, so that's that's a bonus um, I think it's beginner friendly for sure and by beginner, I kind of mean myself. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. I like it. But I think I want to add just a little bit of my, um, my Body Shop Honey Bronzer over the top of that. Just Let's just see what happens. It could go horribly wrong. That's nice. I like it mixed with that. Just add a bit of warmth to the face, maybe just a little bit over the nose, just to just to warm it up a little bit. Because I am looking pretty pale, guys. To me, at least, anyway. That's quite a nice bronzer. Um, I think that it'll work good for me in, actually just want to blend that a bit more, I think it'll work better for me in winter than it would summer, I think I would stick to my um, my physician's formula butter bronzer in summer definitely, and I, I do like it, I just don't know whether I like it more than my body shop uh, one at the moment, I think I've just gotten comfortable with the tone of my body shop, but it is definitely nice, so pick yourself up some, especially if you like a little bit more yellow toned, um, definitely not orange, but yeah, um, a bit more yellow toned sort of bronzer, so. I don't have any new um, blushes 
So I've got two that I want to play with today. One is the Rimmel London, I can't tell you the shade because they put these stupid stickers on the back and then you try and rip it off and eh, anyway. And I have this Manakada, um Three Step Perfect Blossom Blush and Highlighter. I never use this as a highlighter. I always use it, I swirl my brush around and I just use it as like a glowy um, blush. So that's what I'm going to do today. And although I really love the look of this Rimmel one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with this one. So uh, no name brush, whatever. Swirl it around there. And I have those poofy cheeks. I don't know if you guys have that, but I normally like to start from there and then sort of drag it up. I also don't like to go ham on my blush. I tend to do it by accident. So, hmm. And I do like to bring it right up to my temples. I don't know, I just do. I think it's more flattering that way. Gives a bit of warmth, bit of glow. I don't know if you can see that, but that's about as blushy as I like to go, personally. I don't have much new things um, left. I do have... I have these two ColourPop palettes, which I will show you. Um, not necessarily new, but they're new to me. So I have the It's My Pleasure palette, which is kind of new. Um, you know, it's been out for a few months. Let me. It's kind of new, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Um, but when I got it, I realised that I needed something to go with it, you know, I didn't really have any sort of base colours, transition colours or anything like that, so I thought I would pick up the Colourpop Fame palette, and this I love. It is probably going to be boring as hell for you guys, but I didn't have a neutral palette, and we're talking about me, I'm the kind of person that before Colourpop or anything like that, I didn't know that, um, you know, you could get really good formulas of um, eyeshadows. I was always buying my eyeshadows from like Maybelline or L'Oreal or somewhere like that, and they just never worked for me. They were always patchy, they made me look disgusting, they were blackened, whatever, you know, just never worked. And then I tried Colourpop and I'm like, whoa, and I'm sure that there's better formulas than Colourpop, but right now I'm riding the Colourpop trick. I am riding the Colourpop train, and some of these colours, guys, I mean, this is a neutral palette, yes, and it's more cool toned, um, but this doesn't have to be boring. Some of the colours in there, you build them up, or you mix them with another palette, and damn, okay, right? So this is the palette that I'm going to be using today. Um, I'm kind of probably just going to keep it a little bit basic, because... Like I said, I'm not really going anywhere, and I'm pretty much just putting on my makeup because I'm going to put on another video. I'm going to do another video, and um, it's a lipstick video, so if you're interested in that, I don't know what's going to go up first, that or this, but um, mm, keep an eye out for it because I am excited. So I've got a couple of palettes to play with. They're new, and I have this Maybelline um, Lasting Fixing Spray. That's new, um, which I'm going to be playing with, and I have... Um, a new eyeliner. Well, it's new to me, and this is the one minute. This is the the Rimmel London Rich Brown Waterproof Eye Definer. So yeah, um, that. I normally like the blackest of black eyeliners, but what I started to realise is that I'm really digging the browns in the waterline, so I picked up this guy after I tried buying a, um, uh, Astralis, um, brown eyeliner, and that was horrible, like I'm, I was hurting myself trying to put it on, and I'm like, nah, so I follow these other girls on, um, Beauty News, and they were always talking about the Rimmel, uh, they normally talk about the Scandalize, but they were talking about this one as well on their own separate channels, and I thought I'd give this one a whirl, so that's new to me, and then we're going to play with that, and we are also got two new liquid lipsticks, and, um, new to me, not necessarily new, but I'm living for them right now, and they are the Jeffree Star 
Velour liquid lips and I've got two I've got calabasas and I've got Christmas cookie and obviously that's what the next video is going to be about I'm going to do some swatches um, I'm going to do calabasas on its own I'm gonna do Christmas cookie on its own then I'm gonna mix the two colors together and I'm gonna do a swatch of that as well so check out for that it's either before this one or it's after this one I'm so freaking excited so I'm pretty much going to keep my eye look tame today because this is the reason why so anyway, let's move on. Eyebrows. Boring. I use e.l.f. So I have this e.l.f. Um, double-ended pencil crayon thing. I love the shit out of this. I do have another one that I like. Um, it's Maybelline Art Studio or something like that. That's nice, but I really do like this e.l.f. one. And e.l.f. is a little bit more expensive in Australia than it is in um the states but I still absolutely love this one I like to just just define a little bit I don't go crazy with my eyebrows or I at least try not to it's just that half of my eyebrow looks invisible um, most of the time it may not look like it on camera but when I get into the sunlight you know the end always disappears so I just like to do a little bit of defining I'm not very good at sculpting my eyebrows to be honest with you I'd like to get better at it but I love this product and that's all that matters is I'm not talking about my skills, I'm talking about this product and I love it so. So there, it's, look it's pretty much it, I just like to make sure that my eyebrows can be seen, like the entire eyebrow. Um, I don't, at the moment I don't do anything crazy with them. If I do want to make them look a little bit thicker I do go in with this L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper and it's just like this eyebrow mascara to be honest with you with this little tiny um, thingamajiggy yeah, wand. I might actually put a little bit on and give you a little bit of an idea. But mostly I focus that sort of on the front and in the middle. And I just lost an eyebrow. Personally don't think I have enough to lose but whatever. I digress. Now I like this but it's not like a setting gel or anything, it's definitely plumps them, makes them look like you've got more than what you've got. Um, it lasts a long time, but it, I've got to get that eyebrow. But it's not going to, like if you like to brush your eyebrows up, it's, it doesn't feather them up and keep them, it will feather them up, but it won't necessarily stay there. And I don't know whether that's because I'm always touching my face or anything like that, but for me, I don't find that they really hold them in place, but it also doesn't give that crunchy, crispy texture that people don't like anyway, so that's that's a bonus for me. Alright, so, now, we're going to go into, um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put on any um, highlighter other than that sort of glowy blush. I do have some highlighters with me. Um... I've got four of these, uh, what are they called, Becca Macrons, you know I got in a gift set, I brought in a gift set um, last year and the one that I've got in my hands right now is Opal and Rose Quartz, um, let me have a look, what am I feeling, so that's Opal, I think it might be a little bit too dark for me to be honest with you, gorgeous, gorgeous, um, I think we might go in with a little bit of Rose Quartz because I didn't go too crazy on my blush, so let's do that. Got a bit of a swirl, tap off. The only other highlighter that I have, other than um, Becca, is a Wet n Wild one, and I really do enjoy that, but I think it's a little bit too pink for me. I really like this, but I probably, I probably put too much on because I can't really... You know when you see YouTubers and they go like that and you see that perfect white? I guess I'm just not on the right angle any time to sort of see that. But I do love this. It does give off that sort of wet look. Um, the rosy wet look anyway. And I absolutely enjoy that. Alright. That's that. We're going to go into eyeshadows now. And like I said guys, I'm just going to do something really, really simple. I am going to start off with um, this shade right here, which is this shade right here which is Clubhouse I love to put that all over the lid almost almost right up to my brows and I'm going to use where is my 
favourite brush at the moment for that. I've got this Real Techniques, um, what kind of brush is this? Does it say? Uh, it just says Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. So I don't know what kind of brush this is, but that's the one that I like to use to do this. So, excuse me. Probably should have tapped out that um, concealer that I put on my eyes. I don't use an eyeshadow primer. I always use a concealer because I think that it's better and I really haven't had much luck with eyeshadow primers. So, as you can see, there's definitely pigmentation there. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but I enjoy it. I also do, guys, I've got, I've got deep set eyes and I've got, um, I can never remember the other one, hooded. I've got hooded eyes and I've got deep set eyes, so I, I can't really, I can do all these crazy looks, but I'm going to open my eyes up and you're not going to see much of it, so, um, you know, I, I like this palette for that, you know, I can just do one and done shades or I've got, um, sort of like a background to build on if I, um, if I want to do something a little bit more crazy, but for the most part, I just want something easy to use. So that's pretty much it right there. Do the other one. Very easy to use, ColourPop. So if you guys you know, are relatively new to makeup. I know you have to order online, I know it can be a pain in the butt, but they've always got deals on and they're a great affordable company, so you can just buy a whole bunch of things, right? Just, mm. a, a lot of their products are absolutely fantastic. Their Super Shock shadows are really good. The only thing that I kind of haven't liked so far is their matte liquid lip formulas. So that one, they're a little bit drying, but other than that, I love I love Colourpop at the moment, so as I said before, definitely riding that Colourpop train, I'm loving it, so um, alright, so I want to I wanna lighten up the inner corner a lot, um, or what I feel is a lot, so I want to take, um, I'm going to take this shade here, which is Showboat, and I want to sort of bring that in um, in the inner corner and see if I can brighten up this eye a little bit. Just sort of stamp that on a little bit. Hmm. Oh, it definitely brightens it up. I might grab a different brush, actually. Wasn't the best choice. Yeah, there we go. I just wanted to brighten it just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Alright. Keeping it basic, I need something underneath. So, um... Let me see. Where's my brush? No, no, I can't find it. All right, I'm just going to have to use this pencil brush. Um, I might take Stardom. I'm hoping that Stardom is a little bit dark enough. I'm going to run that arm underneath my waterline just to give it a little bit of definition on the outer, sort of bringing it up. It's a little bit pinkier. All right, I may end up looking sick, you know, ill by the end of this, but we'll see. Hmm. I don't mind it, but I'm not a huge fan of it of being on my you know, lower lid, so I might actually take the shade um, Razzle up here and go over the top of that. I kind of wish that there was like a darker brown, like not, there's almost two blacks, like they're almost black. Um, and I wish that one of them was sort of like a deep sort of chocolate brown, um, more like a, uh, I don't know, a neutral chocolate brown, I guess. Yeah. That one's more terracotta. Hmm. It's not bad, it's not what really I was going for, but anyway. 
Um, yeah, I might take the shade, ooh. I might take the shade the most right here, just dab that on the center of my eye with my finger. I find that that works really, really nice with some of these shimmery shades. Yeah, it just brightens it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Can you see that? I really enjoy that. I'm not going to really blend it out too much. I'm just going to sort of dab it on with my finger and just sort of blend it out with my finger a little bit. I just want a little bit of a pop. I know it's not a dark shade, but I mean, I know my eyes, whatever. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for that look. I know I didn't go in with the It's My Pleasure palette, but I just wasn't feeling it today. So, moving on from that, we are going to go in with this brown um, Rimmel eyeliner. And I'm not good at putting eyeliner on on camera, so please excuse me. I might actually go off camera to do this one. Ah. Now I always have a tendency to poke myself in the eyes, that's why I didn't want to do that one on camera guys. I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, you guys know that I use this all the time. Eh, I love it. Um, once I got used to using it, it's my favourite and I don't need to do too many coats. I don't feel it needs it. Not for every day anyway, and that's just my personal opinion. I don't need to curl my lashes either with this, which is fantastic. And hit those bottom lashes. Alright, now, I used to use a different Maybelline, and I think it was Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. It came in a black one, but they just randomly pulled that off the shelf and then slapped this on without, like, even saying anything or promoting this. Um, and so it's not, I can't really show you what I was using before because I already threw that out in my last empties video, but I started replacing it with this Mario Badesco, um, facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea. And though I like this, I think it's nice. It doesn't really do much for the longevity of my um, makeup. It just sort of takes away that powdery residue. And although I really enjoy that, I sort of want something to hold my makeup on a little bit longer. And when I, after I picked up this, I didn't really read it. I just sort of replaced it thinking that it was, you know, just like whatever, just a revamp. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't realize that it said that this was um, a matte sort of finish. And I'm like, oh, oh, I don't need to look like a crusty mummy, guys. Um, so I'm really nervous about what this is going to do. And I already feel a little bit dry. So I am going to first spray this and just blend my makeup a little bit with this um, Mario Badesco spray, which I, I freaking love. I'm going to get some more of this. Maybe in the lavender scent, to be honest with you, because I don't mind the cucumber smell, but it's just not my jam. So um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a spray with this. And I don't know about anybody else, but I like to get my... Um, makeup sponge and I just like to sort of, I don't know, melt everything in, blend everything in. It just seems to work for me. So this is what I do. I don't know whether it's right, whether it's wrong, but this is what I do guys. And I love the effect that it has. Just like that. I'm going to need a new mascara guys. So if you've got any suggestions for me, just write it down below. I was thinking about getting the um, Benefit Roller Lash. I've had a lot of good things about that. So. This is all dry, so we'll give it a good old shake, and let's see how we go. It's just the sprayer like. Oh, oh, that's that's quite fine. All right, look. Doesn't really have a smell. Let's give this a go. Guys, this is almost like a micro mist. Like I can al almost not feel it. I've got to get a lot closer. Hmm. All right, okay, I'm not hating that. Let's let that dry a little bit, eh? Hmm, oh, got a few little drops there. 
I don't know about mattifying. Did you think that mattified me? I'm looking in the mirror and I don't look matte, so... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't mind it. So, um, yeah, let's move on. Alright guys, so Calabasas. This one I just, I had to pick up. I've seen it on so many skin tones and it just looks, it looks phenomenal, uh, what can I say. And, um, Calabasas is also where Jeffree Star lives. So, um, oh, that would be fun. Alright, let's shake this guy up and let's put it on my mouth. Alright. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I like this. Mm-hmm. Once again guys, not the greatest swatch, but look at this colour. Like, isn't it just freaking gorgeous? It is... I love this colour. I... Look, it... For me, I want to say, like, it's like a brick red, but with some sort of, like, tinge of purple in it. Like, I just love this colour. I... I what else can I say? Um... I think this could be flattering on pretty much everyone. I, um, I'm usually scared of reds, um, or anything that's sort of reddish, tingish, but, like, this has got, like, it's got a little bit, it pulls a little bit pinky purple, as well as that brick red kind of thing. Like, I can't explain it. It's just a completely unique colour to me, and, um, I absolutely love it. If you guys like what you saw, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give me a thumbs down too. Either way, I need to know whether you guys want to see more videos like this. If you do in the event want to see more videos like this, go ahead, feel free, hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to check the bell um, so you can be notified at any time that I do upload a video. And I hope to see you guys in my next video, and I really hope that my next video is definitely the um, Liquid Lip Swatches, my new series that I'm planning on doing. I really, really hope. I don't know. It's taken a lot of time and a lot of work to get these up, and hopefully I'll be doing it with my new camera. So thanks again, guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.